Ooh, ooh. Whoa, let me get myself ready here. Whoa, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing this right. Take off my Mexican poncho. That's in Mexico. My favorite place in the world is uh, Barranco, Belize. Belize is right next to Mexico. With the Griffin and the people. Ah, there we go. Hey, like that. But in fact, man, let's talk geography. That's, that's uh, I guess you call it Central America. Yeah, Belize, Central America. Mexico is Mexico. You know, is Mexico North America, Central America, or just Mexico? We'll figure that out. Uh, by the way, this is just very short to tell you what's. Sometimes I see when I'm reporting, uh, when I'm reporting, when I'm doing these dispatches, what I call them dispatches, you don't know that, uh, from uh, my office here uh, on the campus of the University of Fort Hare. I have flags, you know, uh, this flag, this one here, this one here. Uh, this is my uh, No More Radio flag. No More Radio is, uh, I guess you call it my brand or whatever it is, it's, it's just No More Radio. It's been in existence since 1986 or something like that. And uh, uh, it's my, that's what I do, no more radio. And it's usually I do specials, and so usually on radio, but it could be uh, any medium, uh, because that's what, that's what it is. Any, any, any transmission is, that I do, and I have uh, my uh, background sound, usually some sort of jingling. No more radio originally started with uh, the art ensemble of Chicago as the background music, a thing called People in Sorrow, which I'm dedicated to People in Sorrow, or as you may know, the downtrodden. So, plus, no more. Uh, I originally got the concept from uh, a classic book called Drama of Nomo. I did it I, I just in New York a, a couple of months ago, well, that's month. And I, I was fortunate enough to uh, interview the author of the Drama of Nomo, uh, or Drama of Nomo, uh, uh, Paul Carter Harrison. And I did so interviews, maybe I'll, I'll link those interviews uh, to this one. An extraordinary, an extraordinary human being. Uh, anyway, so that actually is inspired by, by that, that book. And um, when I was teaching at the University of Cape Town, uh, the students, you know, they had to do papers, whatever have you, and, uh, and these blogs. And one of them found out that Nomo, which I particularly like, also uh, means seed. Seed like, or seed like, like a seed, right? Even though this is from an organization called Seeds. It's a, a permaculture organization, but seeds, like that. So that explains Nomo Radio, Nomo Radio flag. Put that back up later. Put this here. Now the other, the blue flag, blue, white, with the stars, and that's uh, the flag of Honduras. Now here's the story behind that. Um, right now we're in the Olympics, you know. Well, uh, a few years ago, well, 66 years ago, 2010, um, they had uh, the World Cup here in South Africa, and I was living in Cape Town, and I didn't really have a team to support, you know. Now, you know, I know you said, well, oh, should you support the American team? Well, mm, I won't get into that right now. So anyway, um, legend has it, let's put it this way, uh, um, my, my maternal family, you can trace through uh, to, you know, African-American Indians in there, whatever, the slave things, so, so, so the Europeans in there. But my father was unknown, let's say unknown, he's a one-night stand by my mother. Don't worry about that. It's a wonderful thing that happened because I came out of that. But legend has it he was a traveling musician. And and and, and then um, I happen to think he came from Panama or whatever. Blah, blah, blah. But he was, remember, he was part of what's called the, the Garifuna people, the Garifuna people. Garifuna people were, to make a long story short, they were dropped off <laughs> after some stuff with the, with the Arawaks and, and, the, and the British or whatever. They were dropped off the rare ten islands in the Honduras, but they, they and it was just raritan bop, 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 rocks. And so they spread from there to Belize, um, down, all down to uh, 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 Nicaragua, Blue Fields, Nicaragua, uh, um, uh, Costa Rica, Panama, and the Colombia, Panama, down, all the way down to South America, Venezuela, whatever. And there's coastal, uh, mainly uh, fisher people. Except for in Belize, there was one town called Georgetown, which is an inside town where they there's no fish there, so whatever. But usually on coastal towns. Anyway, so that was so you know, so this whole on the so this flag Honduras. So in other words, they started in Honduras in the spring. Okay. Now, for me, uh, as a as a in, in the Yoruba culture, in the West African culture, Yoruba culture, I'm a child of Ogun. 
and uh, and and though in the United States, Ogun's color is, is is red, black, and green. Uh, the original thing in Nigeria, well, uh, uh, in uh, in Belize, well, not Belize, I'm sorry, Brazil, uh, the colors are, are are blue and white. And one of my my numbers. Of one of my numbers before number reason numerology is three. Also, a five is in there somewhere, and seven is in there. Anyway, so so when I was looking at all these flags, uh, blue and white, Argentina, I said, hmm, that's pretty good. And got the sun there, you know. But I honed on the very beginning for Honduras because they had the blue and the white, and they had five stars. So for me, uh, even though the, the Garifuna people have, actually have their own flag, I get back to Belize and get a Garifuna. Uh, they may have their own flag, and it's a person and they got fish or whatever it is on the flag. But if I was going to identify with a flag, not the country but with a flag, Honduras would be it. Uh, you know, since then things have happened in Honduras, coups, but you know, perpetrated by, you know, the the, the, the coup maker of the of the world, namely the United States and North America, whatever have you. But I still uh, use I mean I just like the flag. So that's the backdrop for for these um, uh, commentaries, if you will, these days I'm doing. Just want to give you that. And no more radio is where it's the sense of everything. And that's it for me. T for the Patterson's taking a train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.